Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the review of the Bayang Toys uh, X21 uh, GPS uh, quadcopter drone. This also has uh, Wi-Fi FPV so uh, besides being uh, ready to fly a uh, drone it also has a camera and uh, means of uh, video transmission so you only need a mobile phone uh, to use this drone and you will get FPV. Uh, I must say from the beginning that uh, Wi-Fi FPV is not the best solution so uh, Wi-Fi has lag and uh, limited range it's not like uh, real FPV but uh, for uh, something like uh, 10, 20, 30, maybe 50 meters it should be okay uh, we'll see about that because we are going to test the range of course but uh, I have told you that from the beginning so you may know it um, I must also say that the X21 uh, model it's a kind of uh, upgrade of the uh, X16 uh, model which had some issues uh, it wasn't a perfect uh, quadcopter it was very cheap it has it has had GPS but uh, some issues were uh, uh, not uh, that great and uh, caused it some uh, problems uh, the X21 uh, comes with the promise that all the issues that uh, were present in the uh, previous model have been fixed and this is kind of a, a repaired upgraded model which shouldn't have any kind of issues also the X21 comes in uh, two versions uh, is the single GPS and dual GPS version that refers to the fact that the quadcopter of course has one GPS antenna inside but uh, the second GPS antenna is actually in the transmitter and uh, that is used for uh, intelligent flight modes such as the follow me or orbit so you can uh, trigger those from the transmitter and uh, the drone will follow you because you have a GPS receiver in uh, your transmitter right so on the box you won't uh, get too much information of course this is the X21 it has a super FPV FPV quadcopter so not uh, really uh, interesting to look on the box it only shows that sorry about that uh, it works with a mobile phone and that's about it so the best thing to do is to take it out of the box to see if that is really the truth or not so let's see what we get inside the box in the box of course we get the instruction manual and uh, we get a QR code for scanning and downloading the Wi-Fi application that uh, works with the camera and uh, from its name because it's called the uh, ID 1080P UFO XXX uh, means that uh, it may really have a full HD camera uh, which should be nice in uh, uh, this century it also comes with a charger but that's a simple charger uh, this is a first set of propellers and we also get a second set of propellers uh, we also get the FPV smart uh, phone holder and the transmitter of course which is a 3D controlled top model transmitter uh, this thing does, does not have anything in common with 3D because uh, you want to uh, fly this in a uh, acro mode like a racing drone but uh, it uh, probably sounds cool uh, if you buy it and uh, you have 3D control over your drone but uh, it's more likely a toy grade uh, transmitter although the finish is nice it has that uh, rubber paint uh, and uh, it feels nice in uh, your hands it looks actually more like a SEMA uh, transmitter and I must say that I'm really impressed because all the buttons work uh, which is not uh, that obvious on a uh, uh, Chinese drone so 
I'm gonna take the quadcopter out of the box and the uh, first uh, thing that uh, when I see when I look at it is the fact that the GPS antenna seems to be fake because this thing is really flimsy so probably the real GPS antenna is actually inside because this quadcopter does really have a GPS antenna but I don't think it's in this uh, mushroom here which is way too uh, brittle and flimsy for uh, uh, support for it. Uh, the quadcopter itself uh, uh, looks like a combination uh, like the transmitter of a toy grade and a hobby grade quadcopter. Um, the casing and the finish uh, of uh, the assembly doesn't uh, look really good but it has brushless motors uh, it has GPS it has FPV so uh, it's a combination of uh, those two in uh, one single unit I really hope that uh, it will uh, perform better than the X16 uh, uh, model I must uh, mention that I have also found uh, these things in the box so we get a screwdriver and some uh, keys here it's a uh, torx and a hex key and also this uh, plastic washer which uh, should have been uh, installed on the gimbal but this thing is uh, cracked so it will not stay there uh, there uh, this is a gimbal saver so even though this uh, quadcopter doesn't have a gimbal this washer should have been stayed there and in case of a hard landing or impact um, uh, this thing will uh, suppose not to be separated so you won't uh, lose your camera like uh, looking here so this is how it got from China as you can see this thing uh, has the function of stopping this because it has this plastic shaft here and with this locking thing uh, it should hold it in place like it does here but uh, it looks like uh, the long way from China has uh, a trip uh, this off like it did in uh, this place and this washer is no longer useful in my case now let's uh, take a closer look at the quadcopter so uh, it seems that it comes with a FPV cable, but actually this is not an FPV cable, it's a micro USB cable which supplies part of the camera. A good thing that this thing is uh, removable and uh, you can easily adapt it to your own needs. And also you can uh, remove the original camera easily, so you can remove the support. And not only the support, but you can also unlock the camera from this support here just like that and uh, you can use your own action camera uh, this thing has uh, the built-in FPV so you can see here this piece of wire and here there are actually Wi-Fi antennas which uh, transmit the video information from the camera to your uh, mobile phone also here you have a micro SD slot uh, which you can uh, insert your SD card inside and uh, the camera will uh, record the video internally uh, while it also transmits it to your uh, mobile phone so the quadcopter itself uh, it's nice because uh, it permits uh, you to add your own uh, action camera to it but of course if you want real FPV you need to do some uh, modding of it uh, to benefit from that uh, also let's see what battery you get inside if I'm able to take it out and yes I have made it so the quadcopter comes with a, a Shinda LiPo battery uh, which is a 2200 milliamps battery it's a 3 cell lipo but it's rather small uh, of uh, comparing with uh, what I'm used to have in this such kind of quadcopter but the quadcopter itself is very light so a light battery in a light quadcopter uh, could provide a good flight time 
of course uh, if you don't plan to add uh, three axis gimbal and uh, some uh, proper uh, action camera with an FPV transmitter which draws uh, a lot of extra power so let's see what we can do further I'm going to install batteries to the, the transmitter uh, also I'm going to install the application that uh, Bayang Toys supplies for their camera and uh, let's see if uh, all of those work that uh, the producer uh, says that they do so let's uh, now try to do a quick uh, test so I have uh, installed the camera back the power cable is connected so I'm going to put the uh, lipo close to the drone uh, transmitter has uh, batteries inside so I'm also going to open my uh, mobile phone to unlock it I'm going to power on the transmitter it's blinking red and it shows all the icons on the screens just like that so it actually doesn't say anything so I'm going to connect the drone battery and I must tell you that this thing has a uh, on off switch here which I'm going to test to see if actually it uh, does start or not the drone so I'm going to connect it the drone is connected and it's not doing anything so probably I need to enable it yes and now the transmitter has returned to normal operation and the drone is blinking and now I should get a SSID of uh, the camera hopefully so let's see if uh, that happens or not and as you can see there is no uh, camera here because uh, if you take a close look into the manual uh, it says here that request mobile phone support 5G function uh, and uh, that uh, in case if you don't understand it because it's, this is in uh, Chinese it means that you need to have a mobile phone or tablet that uses dual band Wi-Fi that has 2.4 and 5G Wi-Fi connectivity which my phone doesn't have so my phone will not see the Wi-Fi from the camera so I won't have Wi-Fi FPV from uh, this uh, kind of uh, quadcopter drone it's not a, a real issue for me but it's a thing to be taken uh, into account because if you don't have a 5G uh, mobile phone you won't have FPV either so let's see at least if it arms the motors or not so I'm going to do the motor arming and the motors are armed and I can also disarm them from the remote so it seems that all systems are working even the telemetry here on the screen is working it shows me that my battery has 11.5 volts while the internal batteries have 6.89 volts so you can see it shows the XRX you can also control things such as this uh, 3D mode and easy mode which I have to search for uh, what it really does and you can also control the camera to take a picture or to record video from the menu and uh, so on you can enable disable GPS so yes all the buttons from this remote uh, do work and uh, they seem to do something but uh, I really want to fly this thing to see uh, how uh, good it performs uh, how good the camera is and maybe I can uh, find a device that has uh, 5G uh, Wi-Fi connectivity to have some uh, video stream 
otherwise I just going to resume to using the uh, internal uh, micro SD card of the camera and uh, have a recording from that uh, it's also interesting if the camera will record because uh, if you look at it it doesn't have any kind of manual recording button so uh, it's interesting to find out uh, how and if the camera will actually record something because it doesn't have any kind of trigger switch and uh, its uh, cable here it's only a power cable because it has two wires it only has one plus a negative connectivity wire so this only supply power to the camera it doesn't have any kind of remote trigger so if you don't have a 5G uh, equipment to control it through wireless actually I don't believe that the, the buttons from the remote will uh, start or stop uh, recording of uh, the camera and now I'm going to end this uh, first part of the review as you can see this uh, is uh, really a combination between toy grade and hobby grade uh, I do hope that this thing will fly more like a hobby grade than a toy grade uh, until now I don't have any kind of expectations that uh, it will do great or it will do bad so until the flight uh, test I am not going to pronounce myself if it's good or not I really want to see it uh, fly to see how uh, good it holds the position in GPS mode uh, how much the battery will uh, keep it in uh, the air and if I can uh, somehow control the camera uh, and get some recordings out of it otherwise I'm just going to replace it with uh, regular action camera and I'm going to start it manually and uh, that's it so uh, no 5G connectivity then uh, maybe I'm just going to use my own camera and have some uh, quality footage from it uh, then uh, using this which I actually cannot use so until next time uh, which will be the flight time uh, I hope that you are going to enjoy my other reviews which I'm going to upload soon with other uh, RC related stuff and not only that and uh, I hope that the flight test will be a successful one and uh, you are going to enjoy that until then bye bye